what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Beast for Build. In today's episode, we're gonna mount all the cooling systems. So we have three radiators and two heat exchangers we need to mount and package all up in the front end and then run our cooling lines back to the back end. So that's what's in store, stay tuned. In the last episode, Oscar got all of this front end stuff all tacked up and we started building this structure out, planning on uh, where we're gonna place our, our radiators and our heat exchangers. So this is a really fun part that we're gonna do is uh, we have an electric water pump that needs to go up here. We have two of them actually. Uh, we have some heat exchangers for the air to water intercooler and we have some radiators that need to go up front as well. So we're gonna go ahead and break down the front end real quick and grab those and start designing the placement where all these things are gonna land. All right, so you guys saw us looking around trying to find out where we were gonna place our heat exchangers. So the heat exchangers are not part of the radiator system, what you see here. The heat exchangers are for the air to water intercooler, which I haven't showed you yet. We decided in the end, those are actually gonna go in the back. So we're not even gonna focus on those right now. We're just gonna focus on the radiator system. And for our radiator system, we're sponsored by Mishimoto. I'm super happy about this. I wanna give a huge thanks to Mishimoto. Guys, I'm gonna put a link to their website and their Instagram in the description below. Please go show them some love. Let them know that BS for Build really appreciates their support. Uh, I, I got a hold of them. I said, guys, we're kind of crazy. We need some radiators that are not meant for the right cars. They're going in a Lamborghini with the wrong engine and the, you know everything. And they're like, no problem. What do you need? So these are actually auxiliary coolers from a Camaro. They are going to be placed down here uh, where, so Lamborghini, the way that the stock Huracan goes is you have one radiator here, one across here and one there. Now we're doing the same style of thing, just a little bit bigger radiators in all the areas. Um, so that's what we're doing here. We're going to go ahead now and start to mock fit up where our, we're going to put our Mishimoto radiators across the three sections and how we want to mount them up. And then uh, I'll show you the modifications that we have planned for them. It's time to let the modification begin. Oscar, do his thing. Um, this is where aluminum welding comes in super good handy. So these are 100% aluminum uh, radiators, so we can do a lot of modifications to them just with a simple TIG welder and changing the way things are going. So uh, big changes on this radiator. So we're gonna have a dash 12 line in here. This is gonna get cut off and blanked off. Um, these are getting cut off and replaced on, or they're gonna be put onto the bottom and then we're gonna have a dash 12 fitting in here too. So we got a bunch of dash 12 bungs from another sponsor that I'm gonna talk about in a second. Um, and so what Oscar's gonna do now is, you know, the cutting and the welding and the everything like that. Oh, these also have to get blanked off too. So what we're doing is we're changing the flow from instead of going in, in here and out here, it's gonna go in here and then out right up here with all AN lines. So Oscar just got done doing all the kind of like block off work. So there's a big hose outlet here, hose outlet here. You can see that they're blocked off and welded shut. And then this spot was where this guy was going, which we're gonna utilize this in uh, another project later on. 
So uh, keeping those to the side and then that gets all welded up there. So this thing's kind of like all closed up now. And the next thing we would need to do is weld in our bung, our AN bung, but we don't have the right drill bit. So we're gonna do that tomorrow. So we're gonna go ahead and move on to these guys and prepping both of these. These both need AN fittings uh, here and then one up here. But for now, we'll just go ahead and get the things all chopped up and ready to roll. guys it's a new day uh, last night Oscar got these things shaved off and then uh, he brought his awesome uh, three-quarter inch drill bit in which is gonna fit our AN bung fitting size much better so he's gonna finish the modifications we're gonna go one here and one up here the reason we're doing this up here is so we don't trap any air inside the radiator as it's mounted in our location while he's doing that I'm gonna be helping cut brackets maybe out of this material maybe out of something a little bit thinner I'm not really sure but I'm gonna be helping cut the brackets for mounting so we can make sure we get these mounted in there today Well, my, my brackets are more like plates and they're, they're stupid simple because uh, I need to use the parts that he's welding on to finish them. So I'm gonna move on to cutting a hole in the middle. So our game plan is, so we obviously have this giant air duct right there. Uh, the air is gonna come through the center section and hit our radiator and then the uh, reliefs in the hood are gonna actually, they actually act as a vacuum. They kind of pull the air out, which is really, really cool uh, technology. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure the width of our radiator and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut a hole right out of the center, kind of level with this bar. So it's gonna leave a little bit of this on the bottom, uh, level with this right up to the top of this and and then one hole a little bit larger, a couple inches on each side, larger than the size of the radiator. Just cutting a hole. Alrighty, so I cut a hole for air to go through and Oscar welded on our AN fittings to the radiator. So now, rather than having the stock fittings that they came with, we got AN fittings on these uh, auxiliary radiators and our main radiator. So the next thing that we're working on is the brackets that I just cut out. Oscar drilled them and threw some grommets in them. So this is like uh, to position it in the back and then it's gonna screw in here in the front. So Oscar's uh, measuring where the bottom is and we're gonna go ahead and trim that off and then we will weld it into our mounting point that goes right here. So between here and here is where our radiator lands and it's gonna connect up with here. We'll triangulate it in a nice little spot. That's where that piece will go. And then we're gonna bolt into the front of it over here where we talked about earlier.
All right, so Oscar tacked up our um, the backside kind of bracket that holds the uh, the small radiator in. So that's going to slot in there. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut out some triangle pieces here. They're going to help reinforce this and also direct the airflow. Any air that comes in here, it's going to direct it right at our radiator here. And then uh, I'm going to work on building a piece that we're going to weld off of here, and it'll come out to here and bolt into the radiator. While I'm doing that, Oscar's going to go ahead and. Um, throw our main radiator in here. It's gonna sit in an angle like this and he's gonna work on the tabs that are gonna come off the radiator uh, and then they bolt into here. So last night, Oscar finished up building some badass tabs onto the radiator and channeled out our spot here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a rib nut inside the frame rail right here, and then it'll screw in. And on the bottom, we needed some angle. So I went to the store this morning, bought some two inch angle. So Oscar's gonna go ahead and weld that in across the bottom. We'll drill some holes in it and then put some studs on the bottom of the radiator. So the radiator will kind of slot into that in the bottom so it can't move that way or that way and then bolts in up front. All right, so Oscar welded out our tabs and then on the bottom, actually, let's go ahead and unscrew this real quick. Oscar, I'm gonna show them the bottom. On the bottom, Oscar drilled a couple holes there in our bottom plate and welded on some studs and then we threw on some bushings so this thing is not sitting on aluminum to aluminum because it's a good way to wear a hole through your radiator. So it sits on the rubber. So uh, now we wanna do the same thing for up here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, I just have some like cut your own size gasketing stuff. It's not quite, it's like a synthetic, it's close to like a rubber. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut two squares out of there and then some little holes around that rib nut area and then we'll be able to like fully mount up our radiator. While he was getting that done, I made the uh, brackets for right here and right here that actually hold our auxiliary radiators in. They still need to be, um, that's like white plastic stuff. They need to be peeled off and then um, tack welded in and then those will be good to go as well.
Man, that looks good. Radiators are mounted. Check that out. This is so cool. So we've been throwing on some fittings and you guys saw all the weld on bungs and I wanna give another supporter of this build a shout out. We got all these uh, Dash 12 AN bungs and the uh, these Dash 12 hose fittings and the hose. You're gonna see all the plumbing that we're gonna run in a later episode also came from them. The company's called Finish Line Factory. There's some really cool guys that contact me about the build. They have hoses for all sorts of things, oil, coolant, gasoline, so they can run all different types of performance car hosing. And they sell to the general public, but they also offer pricing discounts for like big shops and retail stores. So anybody that's interested, guys, head over to finishlinefactory.com. I'm gonna put a link in the description and also I'll throw down a promo code. It's pretty simple to remember. BS for Build will get you 10% off an order. So I wanna give them a shout out. Huge thanks for this. The AN fittings, you know, they, they really add up in cost. So it's really nice to have the support of a company doing this because man we got a lot of them so we have all this and then later on we're gonna have the heat exchangers we have two coolant pumps all sorts of stuff so very very cool i'm stoked these are mounted we got a cooling system all right guys with that done that's a wrap for this episode so we got our main engine cooling system done we still have the air to water intercooler cooling system we still have the turbo cooling system oil cooler transmission cooler so there's a lot of coolers that still need to go on this car but that's a really good start and the next episode we're going to go ahead and start building uh, reservoirs radiator reservoirs and stuff like that so we can actually plumb the system fill it with water and once we do that if we have all the sensors we should be able to start the engine so we're getting really close to our first startup with the texas speed engine which i'm really excited about thank you guys so much for tuning in i hope you join us on the next one I'll see you soon. Peace!